heat pump water heaters efficiently use room air to heat water and must not be installed in a closet or other confined space. A room size of at least 750 cubic feet is recommended for efficient operation. The room air should be free of flammable vapors, chemicals, dust, or lint. Heat pump water heaters also produce condensation, just like an air conditioner, and this condensation must be drained properly. Before removing the old water heater, first turn the circuit breaker marked water heater off. Some homes have fuses that must be removed. Because circuit breakers can be mismarked, always check the incoming power with a voltmeter or circuit tester before working on the circuit. Open a hot water faucet and let the hot water run until it's cool. Shut the cold water supply off. Connect a garden hose to the drain valve. Place the other end of a hose in a drain or outside. Open the drain valve and empty the tank. Disconnect the electrical wires and all piping and remove the old water heater. Place the heat pump water heater in the room, paying close attention to the installation instructions. The installation instructions should be read carefully before beginning. When installing the water pipes, do not solder pipes while they are attached to the water heater. Instead, solder a section of pipe to a threaded adapter and install the adapter using pipe joint compound or Teflon tape. Cool the pipe with wet rags if solder connections are needed. Because water expands when heated, we recommend adding a thermal expansion tank. Many local codes now require thermal expansion tanks. Attach the discharge pipe to the water heater according to the installation instructions. This pipe is attached to the temperature and pressure relief valve, which is an important safety device. If the temperature and pressure relief valve drips, install a thermal expansion tank and check your home's water pressure. The correct pressure should be between 50 and 60 pounds per square inch. Do not cap or plug the discharge pipe. Turn the cold water supply on and check for leaks. Almost all leaks are due to improper connections, not a tank leak. Open a hot water faucet until the water runs full to let air out of the tank. Next, attach the condensate drain lines. These two drain lines should slope to a floor drain or outside. In some installations, such as basements, you may need to install a condensate pump. Remove the louvered access panel on the left side of the water heater. Remove the cover on the electrical junction box. Install the power wires according to local codes. Make sure that your home's green or copper ground wire is connected to the unit's green ground wire. Replace the cover on the electrical junction box. If you are using a condensate pump, refer to the installation instructions. A control wire can be connected to the condensate pump to shut off the heat pump if the condensate pump fails. Reinstall the louvered panel. Also reinstall the air filter. Make sure every item on the installation checklist has been followed. Turn the circuit breaker back on. The button on the front of the water heater should display a red light. If not, check your home's electrical wiring. Press the power button, which will now turn green. Next, press the efficiency button the heat pump water heater will begin a diagnostics check that will take about eight minutes. If an error code is displayed, refer to the installation instructions. After eight minutes, the heat pump's fan will turn on. 
The fan will not run if the tank temperature is below 59 degrees or if the ambient air temperature is below 45 degrees or above 109 degrees. Now set the desired operating mode. The hybrid mode offers the best combination of efficiency and hot water delivery. Set the tank temperature. We recommend a temperature setting of no higher than 120 degrees because of the risk of scalding. If higher temperatures are required, we recommend installing a mixing valve. See the installation instructions for details. Allow about two hours for the tank of cold water to heat up. The air filter should be checked from time to time and cleaned as required. Simply remove the screw and slide the filter out. Vacuum with a brush attachment or clean in hand dishwashing soap and water if needed. Reinstall the filter and the screw. Once the unit has operated for a while, check the condensate drain lines and make sure they are not leaking. Water coming from the top of the unit usually means the condensate drain lines are clogged. 